All right, good morning. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do the basic sketching exercise. This is in the intro to sketching module on the uh, intro to on shape learning path. So like I said in class, I suggest you guys open up one on your phone. Um, I've got it open on my computer and then my iPad. Um, but remember the other option too is you can do that split screen. Um, it's not the best, but it'll work. If I drag up from the bottom, I can click and hold and bring it up and then I've got both of them open here. Um, again, it gets a little crowded, um, but it's definitely an option that you have. So I'm gonna dismiss this, and I'm going to do it through uh, th with the computer and going back and forth. So I'm on the app, I'm gonna start a new one, and I'm gonna call this Basic Sketching Practice. All right, so let's start walking through some of the steps. All right, so first says to create a new document, make sure that the workspace length unit is set to millimeters, and then we're starting a sketch on the top plane. So to do that, I clicked on the three dots up at the top left. There's my units. I want this to be in millimeters instead. Next, I'm gonna start a new sketch by clicking right there. And I wanna look at the top view. Remember then, I can click on my view cube and go to the top like this. Um, otherwise, I can do a two finger tap and hit view normal to sketch plane. And then maybe I just need to give it one last rotate too, if needed. And then remember also I can click this lock button so that then I can't orbit at all. I can zoom in, uh, in and out, but I can't orbit anymore. All right. So remember this tutorial is walking through the computer. I'm showing you on the iPad. You don't have shortcut keys. All right, so here's how I'm going to start. I'm going to sketch this uh, roughly. So first, I'm going to start with my circle, and I'm going to put my circle on the origin. So I need two of them. Center point circle. I tap once on the center, drag it out. Tap once on the center. Oh, I missed. Remember, you can always click and drag your Oh, I don't want that to be construction line. Okay, there's my two circles. I'm going to go back into my sketch menu and make some lines then, making it roughly this. And if you notice too, um, it's not perfectly horizontal. They made it kind of crooked, and I think that's intentional. Um, and we'll talk about why here in a second. So, from right on top, of my circle out somewhere then I've got a vertical line and what I'm doing is I'm uh, pressing and holding and then letting go and I'm pressing and holding moving down and letting go tap and hold moved over let go again and then one more time back to the start so there's my rough sketched outline still need a center line in the middle as well. So let's make that, I'm gonna tap the construction tool. Starting from there. Oh, my line tool is still turned on. Let's try this again. From the center there to the center there. And the midpoint is when that square shows up, like that. Okay, so it's a little rough, but that's okay. We're gonna use a lot of constraints to clean it up, which is right now. All right, so we need to add a bunch of constraints to make this happen. So you can kind of see the shape of it here. Um, we've got horizontal being just those that horizontal line and vertical. We have coincident, which is this symbol here, meaning that a line is on a point. We have tangent, meaning, um, so think geometry. Tangent means that a circle intersects a line at a single point. Um, in our CAD case, it just means kind of making that smooth transition there. So. I'm going to go into my, turn off my line tool, go into my sketch menu, and down at the bottom there's all kinds of other constraints. So first I want to make, so I can select my lines and what I want first, and then I can go back into the sketch menu and say I want that to be horizontal. So on the iPad you have to select the line first. So I can do the same here, select the line, sketch menu, horizontal. And it looks like everything else is already tangent, vertical, perpendicular. Let's just go ahead and make sure. So I'm going to select my circle and my line 
And I'm just going to make sure that those are tangents. Looks like they are. Let's also just make sure that that line is vertical. It looks like it is, but let's just double check. And it is. We're good. Okay, next thing it says, uh, let's make sure. So we already had that midpoint constraint based on how we made it. But if your line is not on the midpoint, uh, what you can do is if you select the, the point and the line, then going into the sketch menu, there's the midpoint constraint right there. There's also a note saying that these three lines should all be equal in length, so let's go ahead and select all three of those lines. Go into the sketch, and I'm going to click the... So I selected all three of those. Sorry, I didn't have it flipped back. Selected all three of those. In the sketch menu, there's the equal button. Now they're all equal in length as well. So let's make sure we've got everything. Sketch is horizontally symmetric. Um, It looks like we need to add that symmetric constraint as well. I don't see that on there, but I think just having that center line is making it symmetric, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, we're symmetrical. Since we made those three lines equal, since we made those three lines equal, as I drag one, so what I'm doing here is I selected just this bottom line, and I'm able to slide it, and it moves everything accordingly. So we know we're symmetric or we're equal across that center line because that's at the midpoint and those three lines are equal. All right, next step. Now we're going to start adding some dimensions. This is the first that we've done this. So it looks like we're going to add a 200 millimeter from that point to that line. So let's see what it does. Based on how we have this made, it might scale and be kind of funky. Um, so just be careful. If it blows up your sketch, it's okay. Um, you can still drag things back together. So I want the dimension tool, which is right there. I'm going to tap first on the center point, and then I'm going to tap on this line. And remember, you can always uh, like press and hold your finger, and it pulls up this little cursor, so you can make sure you tap the right spots. All right. And then next, I'm going to move this dimension down. So I click and drag with my finger down just to move it, and I'm going to tap it once. Nope, it went away. There it goes. 200 millimeters and there it scaled now if you drew yours extremely small um, there's a chance that your circle or extremely small or extremely big oh I got, didn't drop my dimension tool there's a chance that this inside circle became just either way large or very 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 small that's okay um, you can just click and drag and make it back to roughly what it should be all right next slide Let's keep adding dimensions. So we've got a 70 millimeter width, a 50 millimeter height, and then a 35 millimeter offset. So we're going to do a dimension tool. It said this width was 70. It said this height was 50. And remember, we said those three vertical lines are all the same length. So by making one of them 50, it will make all of them 50. And next, we've got a 35 millimeter offset on this circle. So from that circle to that circle, that distance should be 35. All right, and it says we're missing one more constraint, but on here it's entirely black. Let's see what we might have missed here. I'm going to click and drag on the point here and slide it and see what it does. My guess is that this line is not going to line up with the rest. Yeah. So what's ha what I just did was to check, see how I still have two blue lines. I clicked this and slid it. And what happened is our sketch doesn't know that these two lines are on top of each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a coincident constraint. So down, you got to find it back. The coincident constraints right there. So let's see if we can't just. I want that line and that line coincident. And now it's all lined up, all black. So that means it's fully constrained. So next step we're going to make two circles, we're going to make two lines, we're going to add all of those constraints. So let's start with the circles. Make a sketch. We want to make a center point circle right there about that 
big and we'll do the same down here if you know what you're doing you can maybe use the pattern tool um, where you can um, kind of repeat things as well all right so next we're going to do use some equal constraints here as well so first we're going to make those construction lines right so let's make lines we're going to make them construction lines we're going to make two horizontal lines from there to look like the midpoint right yep right at the midpoint and we'll do the same oh Gotta turn off lines so won't turn it back on when you're making disconnected lines right there and now let's add a bunch of constraints so we know we want that line and that line to be both horizontal and we also want them to be equal all right and then we also want those two circles to be equal in size wrong button oh come on there we go now they're equal in size we have all of our geometric constraints now we can just add our numbers 25 diameter 35 length for that line we already have that 50 so just those two and that we should be good so we said that circle should be 25 millimeters and then the length of that line should be 35 millimeters and we are fully constrained so next step complete our sketch our sketch is done we're just going to measure the area so on the iPad to finish the sketch we'll click check mark down here we are finished so let's look at it from that isometric view so you can see what we've made so if we wanted to we could extrude this up right but the last step then is we want to measure that area and it's in red kind of covered up in this one because that's the answer to the quiz um, and also what you're submitting on Schoology. So what I can do is if I tap that area and then click on the measurement tape up at the top, there's my area, 20,130.6 square millimeters. Let's just verify that, make sure we don't have any mistakes. Apparently somewhere I have a mistake. It says 16,000. Did I click on the wrong area? Mine seems a lot longer. Do I have an incorrect measurement? Oh, I see what it is. Okay, well, let's go ahead and correct that quick. My 200 millimeter dimension is different see how mine's 220 something now I don't know how or when that got off but from that southern point to that line it should be 200 for some reason mine is 222 so let's correct that and now let's see if we've got the right measure now we've got it 16,682 sorry about that so we can go to the next slide we can do the quiz 16,682 and we've got it. 